gym. There we go. Now this is what you do at a gym. You invite a load of women and then dance. <laughs> it's just one guy. It's like, oh, guys, I really, I need, I need to focus on my, my boxing here. Could you guys, could you? There's a club. There's literally a bar next door and a club the other side, I think. Just, why have you come here to dance? <gasps> Punch the pizza girls at your house. Do it. Uh. Go for rude. This is how this is how punch works. He gets off on a poor, poor start, <laughs> and then works up from there. You know, set the bar low early on, and that way everything else seems like you know, a good improvement. So the punch, the birthday party last time didn't go that well. The plan was to increase punch's um, charisma. That didn't work. Uh, he's still got low charisma, but we are now talking to the pizza girl. We're not doing you great with her. She hates us quite a bit. Unfortunately, Punch... It's difficult to raise Punch's charisma when he's naturally mean-spirited. I mean, in fairness, I did a rude introduction to her, which probably didn't help, but I feel like doing anything else would just not be in the spirit of Punch. I feel like he should do a rude introduction and then try and salvage it from there. All right, it might just be easier to get Punch to talk into the, to himself in the mirror. I think... That's probably, like, rather than talking to actual humans, working six hours, can Punch become charismatic enough to get a promotion in six hours? Let's let him eat his cake. I mean, he has his cake. We might as well let him eat it. I have 24 hours to pay my bills before my power is shut off. Is Punch, you're not paying your bills? Oh, right. Okay, well, that's fine. you got work in a bit. We'll have enough money from that to pay the bills. What what are you running that is so expensive? That's good information to know. I can make Punch horny just by flirting with himself in the mirror, because he's like I said, Punch doesn't realise that the mirror is is isn't a different person. He he sees he goes, hey you, I like the beard man. Wow, looking good, dude. And he's just like, where where'd he go? Where'd he go? Tries to find, tries to sort of walk around to the other side to find him. He thinks it's a, it's a window. Come on! Yay! Level two charisma. Right, drink an energy drink. We'll go to work energized. We're gonna get that promotion and we can pay our bills. Oh, go to the toilet as well. Oh no, the energy drink isn't strong enough to counteract the flirtiness. Punch is too horny. No amount of taurine can deter him. Oh, and he's gone to the toilet. The going to the toilet has made him angry. Oh, there we go. He's, he's fine. He stopped being angry. He's now energized. It's laundry day yet again. Punch enters the laundry room to get started on his droll task, only to discover a strange sim lying among the dirty laundry. Punch calls out for security, but the sim gets up and dashes out the door with one of the star player's t-shirts. Could Punch chase after them? Or let's... Chase! Punch rushes down the hall after the thrilling fan. He reaches out for, arm, for their arm, but... Ah. But catching onto the stolen t-shirt instead, the sim hesitates briefly before letting go of the shirt and running away. Good thing Punch got the shirt, because on second glance it's clear that this is the star player's lucky shirt! Yes! Do we get that promotion? Yes! We did! We're team mascot! He hasn't told us that we've got the promotion yet, but we are. Pay your bills, Punch. That's important. We don't want your If your electricity gets set off, I mean, you could still practice. I mean, actually, in fairness... I suppose your food would go bad. And you do like watching TV. I don't, still don't understand really what we're paying so much for. There we go. Promoted to Team Mascot. Punch has been promoted to Team Mascot. You're now taking an additional $9 an hour. Well, $9 sim dollars, whatever. $20 an hour. He has a uh, following bonus. New clothes. Oh, Punch. Let's check out your clothes. How do I check? How do I do that? Damn it. I need a dresser to change Punch's clothes. And I, he's too poor to afford a dresser. Is there anything... Damn it, why did I have that birthday party? It's not even your birthday. I think it's some boxing. It's been, you haven't done some punching for a little while. Let's get those, those fists are going to get rusty. Can't be a team mascot unless you can punch a fan. Like an overzealous fan who's like too happy. You're like, no, you're celebrating too much. Boff. That's the noise of a fist punch, a boxing glove fist punching of overzealous fan in the face. Boff. Let's come over at 12. Th yeah, fine. Like I said, you can come over and hang out, Don. It's fine. Punch isn't going to be there to hang out with you, but you're welcome to come over and hang out. 
One of these days, Don. I don't know why Don's the only person who comes over to punch. Like the only person who texts and says he wants to come over. And every single time he texts when Punch is asleep, or he's eating, or just he just. Uh, just <laughs> and then he goes. He goes. He's gone right. Well, I mean, I'm here now. I might as well go for a. Jo- I mean, I gotta go home, so I might as well jog home. Make the best of a bad situation. One day he'll learn. Thanks for hanging out with me. Oh, poor Don. Poor Don. <laughs> Go have a shower punch. I've just noticed these these ore deposits. These World of Warcraft ore deposits at the back of the house here. I'm wondering if maybe you can get some money from... I mean, we... I don't even know who lives here. Punch dug a treasure map. This will surely lead to great things. Okay. Dig, dig for treasure. Punch, come, come here and dig for treasure. I'll buy if you get if you can find some treasure. I'll build you a bigger pool. Open it up. And my Sims trophy plus one Lindsay. What 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 have we done? What's happened, Punch? I'm not sure what's happened. I've I've dug up. I found a treasure map, and then I found a doll called Lindsay underground. I assume a doll. She's hmm. either a doll or a very still dwarf. Let's go and steal their 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 um plants. I've noticed that there's that I can in, I can harvest these uh, these plants. I don't know what that does or what I can do with them, but you're going to do it because it's an option and it's free, and we're short on money. So, oh, you you acquired the gardening skills. It's as easy as that. Is that you're now a qualified gardener? Yeah, I picked up a plant once. Got two hours punch. It's fine. Let's go exploring. This is fun. I mean, I I think it's fun, but I think every stupid thing that you do is fun. So. I got a surfer eggplant frog. G- great, good. Oh, I think Punch stole a book from the <laughs> Mathis's household when he went there for his birthday party as well. Because he didn't have this book before, and I recognise it as one of the books he was trying to read whilst he was over there. I, in fact, in in hindsight, I maybe should have stolen more stuff from the Mathises if I had the option to do so. Hmm. No, we'll, we'll we'll know for next time we have a birthday party there. Maybe next week. Oh yeah, look, look at him go. That's p- punches off to work as a mascot. Oh, amazing. Oh. Uh, today's game, the other team's mascot... Oh, there we go, punching. Um, the other team's mascot has taking the standard play fighting between mascots a little too far, a, li- a little way too far. Punch, no, you should just let it slide, but it's becoming increasingly difficult to take a boost from a sim dressed as a surly lemur. Yeah, punch the lemur! No stupid lemur stealing punches, dignity! That's... <laughs> yeah. He takes them out hard and the crowd goes wild! Punch is fined by the league, but the morale boost he gave the team was enormous! <laughs> it's like, do you know what? We shouldn't be endorsing this behaviour, but hey ho! And <laughs> he keeps his cut his work. Have a chat with Nancy. I don't know who Nancy is. There's no one. There is no one in the vicinity of Pudge. Oh, there she comes! There she comes! She spot me. I have spotted him across the yard, and just went. Hang on. That is a man in a unit. Corn He's got wings, oh. though. <laughs> I think that's an alicorn. If my knowledge of horses uh-huh. is uh, accurate. Um, and she went, I must talk with this man. I must talk with him. And she's bored of talking to Punch already. And she's like, well, I've come over all the way over here now. I might as well do some sit-ups. But Jay's coming. Again, no one, no one even remotely near to where we are. Where's Jay? How many, how far has he travelled to come? Oh, there he is. Is that him? No, there he is. Everyone oh, loves the mascot the costume. Look at this. Wow. this is, uh, maybe they don't know it's Punch in there. Maybe they're just like, hey, Orbiting. look at this guy. He looks cool. Zibu. I assumed at some point Punch would change back into his normal clothes from his Pegasus unicorn llama thing but no he's decided i like this costume 
And people like me in this costume. I thought some children's cartoons might be better for Punch. Just something about him right now that makes me think children's cartoon. Don't know what it is. Don't know what it is. Can't put my finger on it. So I think maybe the skeleton and the hot dog have a thing for each other. But the skeleton, the hot dog's like, I want you to eat me. But the skeleton's like, I don't have a digestive system. I'm a skeleton. And it's it's like, it's a proper Romeo and Juliet story. I uh, Personally, I thought the, the hot dog skeleton narrative was engrossing, but... I mean, you know, different strokes for different folks, eh? $70. That's an uncomfortably low amount. We'll wait until Punch gets some money. He's a, he's, a, he's a mascot now. So, you know, I mean, that's... As we all know, sports team mascots basically live like royalty. I mean, you think about how much the players get paid, and there's, like, dozens of them on the team. There's only one mascot. So he gets all, all of that money that the players get is concentrated. Oh, Punch is angry. Hang on, he's just putting his cake plate away, Kennedy. He's coming back, Kennedy. Don't worry, he's coming back. He's coming oh, back OMG. and he's oh, he's talking to the mirror. Uh, okay, good. He's finally he's talking to Kennedy again. So this is good. She's flirty and she likes you. Uh -huh. This is... Uh, you want this Must is what you want. Robin. It's good, I suppose, that you keep. You finally got that one above the sink as well. Hank, don't go anywhere, Kennedy. I'll be right back. Okay, he's just. No, no, don't browse. And there she goes. Well done, Punch. Hey, do you know what, Punch? Do you know what? We got the day off work today. You're going to the gym. Guess where Kennedy works? We'll invite Kennedy, and as always, we'll invite James. We actually got two enemies now. Travis hates us as well, so let's invite both of them. Let's just cover all bases. Let's just invite everyone who slightly likes us and the pizza girl and our two mortal enemies. This is fine. Jameson would rather not come. Travis would rather not come. I don't. St I still. I just can't understand it. Like, why would people not want to come and hang out? Like, why would Punch's mortal enemies not want to want to come and hang out with him? Oh, but look, look at the, look at him down there with the people who do. He looks like a ripe pimp there. I mean, it's it's the exact opposite of the situation that he's in. But look at him. Okay, let's do some sit -ups. We are at a gym. Um, you could go in, you know, do that stuff inside. But this is fine. This is fine. It's not like you're the only one who had that idea. You don't look weird. So look, Nancy's doing it as well. And we're going. We're punching with two strangers. Where are our friends? Where are they gone? They're over here on the ex various exercise machines. But this is fine. This is fine. We don't want to seem too clingy. Come on, he's about to hit that level five. Come on, punch just a little more. Just a little more. Break through that wall. Don't stop. There you go. Keep going. Break through, punch. That, that, I mean, that far, really? There we go. Oh, we are making some good progress with everyone. Everyone loves us now. Look at all these greens. I mean, it's not, it's it's not much, but it's still better. Than, I mean, Ken. And here's Don. Here's Don. He's just like, hey, hey, Punch. Uh, uh, I'm, 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 no, I'm not here to see you. I'm just going to talk to this guy. <laughs> hey, hey, oh, oh. No. Don't worry, Don. Someday you'll find someone who'll love you for you. But it's not here. And it's not today. Go away. Hi, right, Punch. Things are going well with Kennedy. And you're hungry, so let's go to the nightclub, and you can eat some chips. How about that? How does that sound? Well, Kennedy's come along, but also Nina. Oh, she's the, yeah, she works here. That's fine. Okay, well, she was here, but she's gone now. So, um, I guess now we're going to talk to Nancy instead. Punch isn't one to be discouraged. Just change your outfit. You're still wearing your gym clothes. You look like a fool. There we go. Much better. Much better. Now, now people know... This is... Punch is ready for a party. Oh, I know. At the moment, he's ready for chips. It's the face of a man who is content with his way of life. It's like, you know what? I'm in good shape. I got chips. It's, um... I'm wearing speedos and a hat. Yeah! Ha-ha! <laughs> Woo! I gotta fight someone. Murno, Jess and I, huh? They love him. Oh, well, she loves him. <laughs> oh, no, they hate him. The, the half-naked man with his glass of water has made everyone awkward. He's like, no, I can't. I'll dance. I'll dance. Just get my grab, come on, get my glass, grab my glass of water I got from the bathroom upstairs. Like, come and sort of hit. Oh, you've, you've stood up and walked away again. That's fine. 
It's fun as zip. Oh, Ronich, Nilsi. Look, I forgot to type that this frog I found. It was amazing. It was in like a log. It's my neighbor's frog. But now it's my frog. Just <laughs> oh, I've learned that Nancy is materialistic. That's not exactly a good trait. But I do own a lot of nice and shiny things, so. I can just be like, look, I know Punch is awful. He's an awful human being in every way. But monkey bars, eh? Eh? Monkey bars. Have you seen The Rock? Have you seen The Rock? <laughs> oh, Punch is about to level something up. It might be Charisma, I'm not sure. He might be being funny, I don't I don't really know. I'm hoping it's Charisma, because I need that Charisma. He's not going to become... He's not going to be a park mascot, and a park mascot, team mascot forever. He needs to, needs to get that Charisma so that he can get those deodorant contracts. And then he can become an athlete. I'm pretty sure that's the order it goes in. I'm pretty sure they go... We want you to be on our sports team, but unfortunately, I mean, no one wants to style sneakers with your name on them. So once you can get the contract with Nike, you can then join our team as the quarterback. I know all the things about sports. I don't know where he kept he was keeping that phone because those speedos don't leave a lot, whole lot to the imagination. But he's got it somewhere in there. Malcolm Land grab. Hang on, you got the same surname as that lady over there. You better be brother and sister. Because I'm going to be annoyed if Punch has put all this effort into making friends with Nancy over there. And it turns out that she's already married. I mean, it's supposed to just be friends. Punch doesn't have any friends yet, so it'd be nice to have some. Like, the one person who tried to be friends with him, I think he's actually sat... Yes, Don, who's actually sat there. Punch has made no effort to reciprocate. The toilet made him angry. And uh, he's uh, he's remembered all his food, but he's a bit sleepy, so he's going to have a nap on the bench. Um, you could just eat an e drink an energy drink, Punch, if you... Look, look, drink... There you go. Drink energy drinks, juice. Don't go and have a nap. There's still... Oh. Oh, it's 5am. You did good today, Punch. You made some friends, I think. Well, you made, you, you made people like you. There's, there's lots more green now than... Well, there's not more than there is red, but there's a lot of green now. So I could very easily just force his charisma up to get him to the next job stat. But I think we're focusing too much on his career. Punch has been around for quite a while now and he still doesn't have... He's just he's all got, only got acquaintances. So I think when Punch gets back, I think we should try and... We should try and make, get a friend. Oh! Kennedy's invited herself over! Excellent! D d d that works even better in our favour. Finish your shower, Punch. Oh, there you go. Lampima. I mean, Just you haven't opened the door yet, so you're still hey, Finn. you're still talking Bill to her through the wall, but <laughs> at least you're talking to her. That's the important thing, Bunch. There we go. Good, good Punch. Bunch has decided, ah, oh, go on then. I'll open the door. Hey, and he got a hug. He's like, ah, oh, thank you for opening the door. Oh, it's so, so kind of you. You've made the bare minimum effort to not be completely sociopathic. Right, we, this is going good. This is going well. Do not watch TV. You will keep talking to Kennedy. She has come over here to talk to you, and you are. She is nice. Stop ruining this. Stop. No. Stop trying to watch TV. Chat with Kennedy. Stop browsing the web. God damn it, you antisocial asshole. Punch has learned that Kennedy is a trainer at Movies and Shakers. We knew that! That's when we met her! She came over and talked to you while you were punching on the punching bag. Come on, Punch, he's talking to you about bats. You like bats. No, don't browse the web. Damn it, I, I'm going to take the phone and TV away from you if you keep doing that. Right, your friends, you want to you cheat yourself up, do some mischief. There you go, good. See, you're mischievous. Now you're happy. Oh, I don't know how. I don't know how high that needs to go before we become before Punch becomes friends with them. Just keep going, Punch. Keep telling. Yeah, tell her about frog. Tell her about that frog. And that time you got arrested for punching that mascot. I don't. Know, I don't remember there being a robot involved, but that's fine. She wasn't there. She's not going to know. Oh, okay. Damn it. Damn you and your bloody cake, Punch. I'm going to have to buy you a second chair so you can sit and watch TV with someone whilst you talk to them. Because you keep insisting on watching TV, and I cannot stop you. I've got, I realise I've got the option to call the Geo Council about the citrine sample he found. 
Risla Kumbar. I don't know what this does, but I, I have the option to do it, so Punch can go and do it. Pretty sure the Geo Council operates a 24-hour line for people telling them about common rocks they found. I mean, honestly, what else would the Geo Council do? That's basically it's like, yeah, you call about rocks. Yeah, I know, that means it's literally the only reason you would call us. There you go, Punch. Look at that. I've upgraded your, uh, your living room situation. I mean, it's not a room yet. One day, maybe if you make enough money, I can make it into an actual room of your house. But it's, you know, look, you can either have a friend over and watch TV with them, and you've got your, you got your toy you found, and a coffee table for your coffee to go. I mean, you've got a tea maker, but if you ever get a coffee maker, you've got a coffee table for You've got a table specifically for coffee and the other two things that I've put on it. That cake was a good purchase. Like, it's lasted... Lasted punch a while. I'm pretty sure he's diabetic now. Oh. Oh, tell a Jim Whipsy. Okay, well, I'm sorry, Kendall Mathis, but unfortunately, uh, Kennedy's have come over. Which is, and I like Kennedy more than you. So, Punch has just. He's cooked his meal and he's put it in his fridge. <laughs> And his punch answer. at his happiest. He's having a nice conversation <laughs> with a pretty girl <laughs> in his <laughs> towel and he's eating for dinner. <laughs> breakfast. Dinner breakfast. <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> Brinner? <laughs> Who's this? <laughs> Eliza Pancakes. I don't know who you are, Eliza Pancakes. Go away. <laughs> oh, I've got... It's work. Uh... Oh, oh, damn it! I was gonna call in. I was gonna take a call by vacation day, but uh, well, you two can get to know each other, I guess. Yeah, you stay there, and watch TV, Kennedy. It'll be back in a few hours. This is fine. I got this new, nice new, uh, nice new setup for you, and you can just—I don't know who you are. Why are you here? Are you selling Girl Scout cookies or something? Piss off. Okay, no, she's Kennedy's got no intention of leaving. She's very happy to just stay. I mean, Punch has still got even like he's still got several hours left at work, but Kennedy's Kennedy's here. Oh no, Punch is angry. Oh, and Kennedy's finally finally given up. I think Punch has been working about five hours now, four, four or five hours. Kennedy's finally gone home, and something and that, and that made Punch angry. He could sense it from work. He was dancing in his costume, and he went, <gasps> "Kennedy's gone." It's a Saturday night. You've had a hard day at work. Let's order some pizza. Uh, oh, Canadian. It's got to be Canadian bacon pizza. Punch, I got you that pizza as a treat. And you just run out. You're hungry. One of the th problems, you like, I can see that you're hungry. You're in the yellow. Eat the pizza. Punch. What is he doing? Christ, why do I have to tell you these things, Punch? You like pizza. It's got meat and cheese on it. Those are two of your favourite things, other than alcohol, which apparently doesn't seem to exist in this world. And I've tried. I've really tried. Oh, come on, Punch. That's just lazy. You're next to the dishwasher. Don't just put your plate on the floor. All right, Punch, it's Sunday. You're washed, you're cleaned, you're, re you're happy, you're energised. How about we go to the park and we see if Kennedy wants to go to the park with us? How about that? Right, sadly, Kennedy is busy. I guess she must be working today. So Punch has come to the park on his own. But that's fine. There's plenty for Punch to do at the park. Um, like, go to the toilet. Here we go. This is what I want. Oh, and so Charlotte's joined us as well as to be a sea monster. We're both sea monsters. It's one child is just like, oh my. Oh, okay, actually, Charlotte can't. Okay, she she actually knows him. I'm just a stranger. I'm just a stranger who's come across a, a maybe a, a, a older teen. Yeah, I think it's a, sis, a brother and sister, happily playing in the park, and I've just shown up to be be a weirdo sea monster. Ah. I mean, the kid's loving it. In fairness, she seems happy as well. So, I mean, who's this hurting? Punch Punch wanted to come to the park to have a romantic day out with his acquaintance. But this this is fine. Oh, okay. And now he's having a, he's just having a chat with, his, uh, with the kid's sister. It's now Punch is... Punch is he's, he's entertained the child. He's now giving her his, his sister some life advice. He's telling her all these... Like, Do you know they used to have music on CDs? These round plastic discs. Now you can listen to music with magic in the air, invisible magic. Oh, where are you going? I, I think 
Wh where are you going? Oh, Punch's littering sense was tingling. He was like, someone didn't put rubbish away properly. I must go. And now, I'm hungry. <laughs> My good deed for the day has made me famished. Oh, <laughs> He's not even going to a restaurant. He's just found a plate of food on an abandoned picnic table. And now he's just joining in. He's just inviting himself to this this family. Uh, pancakes, jewel, and to silver. Okay, no, it's not family. It's just a group of fr just a, gr a happy gathering. Punch has just sat down. He's like, yeah, you don't mind me. I mean, I could have sat in any one of these other tables here, but this seat looks nice. Right, Punch, you're not going to join into their conversation. I'm going to make you go and dig for treasure. Like an adult. Insult Jameson from being near a poor relation. Jameson's nearby. Where? Find him, Punch. Sniff him out. Punch, you're cleaning up... A... You won't even clean up your own bloody house. And you're cleaning up other people's... And now he's going to go and wash them up in the sink. In the bathroom. It's like... You will happily just leave plates and plates and bowls of rotting food in the park. In your own house. But then you go to a park and you're like, no, I must save nature. I found Jameson. Punch is on his way. Oh no, Punch Jameson's gone. And now I, he's angry. Oh, I gotta, go on, Punch. Before he leaves, chase him down and insult his face. Uh, Laho. <laughs> Fubane? <laughs> it's just like, oh, you came to the park to insult me. It's like, I saw you across the way and I just had to do it. Right, there you go. Beat him up. You're a lot stronger than you were the first time you had a fight with him. You're not going to come out of this one dazed. Do you remember that time he took your cheese? Fuck him up, Punch Monkey! Ha ha! Don't beat him up and then tell him about a llama. You weirdo. Just go here. That's it, just walk away. You beat him up and just walk away. Let him think about the choices he's made with his life. Child, why are you still at the park? It's 11.30 at night. Okay, Punch is friends with the bin. Now, I mean, you might say that Punch is, is crazy for talking to a bin, but Jameson's over there playing chess on his own. So who's the real crazy person here? It's this child that's still here at 11.45 at night, playing on a boat. Oh, Punch has acquired logic. Oh, don't play... God damn it, I took your eyes off in two seconds. He's playing Jess on his own. Now, okay, so Punch is now the, the crazy one. He's the one talking to a bin and playing chess on his own. There's three tables of chess. And there's three people playing three one-player games of chess. We're all losers now. Apparently the place, the park is the place to go at 2.30 in the morning if you're a teen or a young adult. I guess they go to the club and the club closes and then they, they just... They go, well the park's right near. Let's just go there and play some... They got chess. Let's go and play some chess. Punch, you ate one slice of that pizza I got you and then you let it spoil. You are the worst. And now you're eating... Yogurt. I hate you, Punch. I really hate you. Is running out with his yogurt to go and talk to Bella. Oh no, no, she's she's not. I've got no any interest in stopping to talk to Punch. She's off. Oh, I missed that. It came with the red one down here, and Punch just came, angrily came down here and stomped on something. I'm not entirely sure what he stomped on, but he crushed it flat. I mean, that, that's that's the perk of Punch being incredibly strong. And he's picked it up and he's put it back down. <laughs> Punch doesn't know what he's doing. Oh, do I not have a... Oh, maybe I don't have a bin. Hang on, Punch. I, I understand now your frustration, your confusion. You're trying to tidy up and I've not given you a bin to do so. There you go, Punch. Now you've got someone to throw your trash out. Let's see if he can fiddle this, figure this riddle out. You've got trash on the floor, Punch. I've given you a bin. What do you do? What do you do? Come on, Punch. You can put this. You can figure this one out. I can see the gears moving. He's just. 
He's gonna eat a yogurt, I think. Yeah, he's gonna go eat a yogurt. Stop trying to read books, Punch! Your first for education will be your downfall. Put it down. Put it down. You are at your birthday party. Stop trying to read books! Damn it! Stop it! I will keep stopping you from reading books.